Thank you for your presence. Very kind. Thank you. In the center of the linear yes. resistance. Wonderful to be here. Not more laws. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So Everybody to be here. Yes. We want to see you. I'm and looking forward to it. I hope that one day we can invite you to the Tehran after the one day. I'm sure that you can have it. Yes. Thank you very much. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you. <laughs> Every day, and that's why many of them were arrested. Some of the people who were executed. Too much, too much. and uh, the Mullah's regime uh, have been in a harsh confrontation for the past 43 years, and the fight will continue until a free democratic republic is established in Iran. Uh, there are two significant factors to the conflict in two days, Iran. On the one hand, we see the regime at its weakest point. On the other, we see the people's maximum anger and discontent. The outcome of these factors has been the progress and uh, expansion of the organized resistance. The West ignored the Iranian people and their organized resistance as the decisive factor in any development in Iran for four decades. It does enable the Mullahs to be on the verge of having a nuclear bomb. I know and saw at the museum over a thousand political prisoners of the theocratic regime are gathered here today. And I want to say to you, from a former Secretary of State, a now unemployed diplomat, uh, I respect you and deeply appreciate all of the work that you have done. The things you have suffered in the name of freedom reminds us of what our country was founded on to defend and secure so many years ago. And it's special. It's special to be here with you. I want to also recognize uh, President uh, elect Mariam Rajavi. It is. It is under her leadership that the National Council of Iran is laying the groundwork, the groundwork for a free, sovereign, democratic republic of Iran. 